Pride of America, 800-622-7220, or visit WLSAM.com and click on Dan's page for all the details coming up at 818. Oh, people apparently aren't uh, obeying that uh, new, uh, no, uh, not text, texting as well as uh, using a cell phone in your car. Uh, they've tripled the number of tickets, and uh, and I, I'm not one of the scofflaws. But uh, we are pleased to be joined right now by Congressman Randy Haltgren in studio. Thanks for coming in, Congressman. Good to be here, Bruce. Good to be here, Dan. And we were just trying to figure out, because I voted for you, and I'm in your district, what the district was, and I believe it spells out the word gerrymandering. I'm not <laughs> sure, does. but it, it goes from Gurney to Joliet in all points. Uh, it's, it's a great district, but uh, to look at it, you wonder, <laughs> boy, what were they thinking uh, as they drew that one up? But uh, there's quite a few of them that way, you know, uh, what they were... A couple of people down in Springfield have a lot of power on this, and it shows when you look at the map. That's, so uh, we just had news about Boko Haram. They, there's a video out right now, and they're apparently they want to trade for these girls for uh, imprisoned members of Boko Haram. And the, uh, there was talk about selling these girls uh, into uh, sex slavery. And, of course, that is a, a big cause for you right here in the United States where they're how many? How much? How big is the problem? Well, here? no one Can knows put for numbers sure. On it? It's it's a huge problem. They they say just a minor kids could be well over hundred thousand minor children who are trafficked, uh, sex trafficking here in America, uh, and you think how much even you know multiple numbers of that when you look around the world, really heartbreaking. And we've got to do everything we possibly can to stop this. So it's one of my focuses right now is going after human trafficking. This is something we can do something about when you shine the light of day on this the cockroaches scatter and that's really what uh, these predators are uh, you can't help but look and see evil in the world when you look at uh, child predators and people who are going after children pulling them into this so when we get back we're, we're in our district working this week but we get back to washington dc next week the main one of the main focuses is dealing with human trafficking we've got five different pieces of legislation specifically we're focused on when we get back i've got uh, something i'm going to be introducing next week as well Again, just bringing awareness to this, recognizing that we can do something, and if we save just one child from this horrible future, it's worth it. Anything we can possibly do to stop this tragedy and recognize it's happening right around us. Children are being abducted. Children are being targeted. And you also have to recognize what are the drivers of this. Oftentimes, the drivers of trafficking is uh, prostitution. And we see so many young children being pulled into prostitution as well around the world and even here as well. So we, we don't see the hashtag diplomacy working too well in the foreign arena. Uh, I don't think we want to see hashtag domestic policy either. So is there, are there specific things, resources that can be deployed to deal with the sex trafficking, the human trafficking you're talking about that occurs within our boundaries? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's, this isn't a government solution. This is really families. This is people being engaged. This is an awareness issue, recognizing trouble signs, uh, seeing these predators, what they're using, how do we identify and give law enforcement officials the tools they need to be able to go after these people who are targeting kids. Uh, and there is, they are out there actually profiling, looking for kids who are troubled youth, who are uh, out there searching online um, and are open for someone, a predator come, to come along and uh, connect with them, contact them. I was hearing a, a statistic, one of my colleagues, Christy Nome from South Dakota, talked about in a very rural part of South Dakota, a police sting where they put something on uh, the internet of offering, uh, a, I think it was a 13 year old child uh, for uh, sex and police did this and within like 24 hours they had a couple hundred hits from South Dakota. Many people saying, well, I really am looking for somebody younger. Uh, I mean, this is sickening wow. stuff that's going on and it's happening right here. Going back to Boko Haram and what's happening in Nigeria, um, do, do we have a, a moral responsibility in your view to, uh, to, to send resources beyond uh, hashtags and beyond some advisors to try and rescue those girls from those savages? Well, I don't know. I don't have enough information yet. We've got to do something. We can't just stand by and watch. So when you say send... You know, Special we'll, forces. Well, we'll have to see. I don't have enough information to say that's the right thing to do or even if that's the, the safest thing to do right now for those girls. We've got to do something. We can't stand by and just let it happen. Now, I can't wait for Brian Williams on NBC to use the word savages, uh, Dan Proft. You are admonished. Well, what are okay. they? What are they? Savages. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Congressman Hulkert, uh, what? We're talking to Congressman uh, Randy Hulkert. My Congressman! Okay, we got the select committee right now. Uh, your uh, colleague, Peter Roskam, we talked to him earlier, is on it. 
maybe we'll get to the bottom of this fake kind of thing thing? I hope so. The, the American people deserve answers on this. We all do. Four Americans died. Uh, we see that there was work, as uh, best we can tell, to cover this up immediately and to change the story uh, because of the election coming up just a few weeks after this. Uh, we have to know what's going on. We have to be able to address this uh, when there are Americans serving our nation overseas. How are we going to protect them? And why didn't we do more? Uh, so those are the answers we're looking for. And I hope this select committee can do that. I think the larger committees were doing a good job, but there were four different committees working on this. I think there was some confusion over uh, who's doing what. This brings some clarity to it, some focus. Peter's gonna do a great job. Trey Gowdy, one of my classmates uh, from South Carolina, very smart, very good. And this will be done the right way. Uh, just trying to get answers for the American people. Do you cover Calumet City as well? I don't quite. Because I was going to ask you if the crater, as well as these storms in my area way north, were caused by global warming. Uh, yeah, you know, I heard you guys talking about the crater as I was walking, you know, <laughs> driving down. I thought maybe you were talking about Washington, D.C., the a, sinkhole. Yeah, obsessed with the crater. <laughs> All right. All right, uh, see about the change of the district. Uh, I, wanted to, I wanted to they go... They didn't ask me. Well, I wanted to take a little slice. I want Dan to be part of my district. Me too. Yeah, you know. me so too. get a little piece of downtown. <laughs> I'm ably represented by Danny. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Congressman Holgren, thanks for joining us.